Welcome to the Art Lady Home. Today I'm going to share with you how my Tupperware mandolin slicer cuts a variety of um, produce. The first one I'm going to show you is an onion. And uh, first of all, I love this brand. And I'm not a spokesperson for Tupperware. I don't sell Tupperware. I don't even buy Tupperware often. I've bought it, you know, a few times in my life. But when I do buy it, I buy it in pretty good quantities, uh, you know, spending a few hundred dollars. Um, but I did try out, the last time I went to a party, I did try out this mandolin and um, since I became vegan um, I thought this would be a good tool to have and I absolutely love it and since I purchased this I've been kind of looking at other mandolin slicers and I find that mine I really think mine is better than the other ones um, as far as safety goes and as far as sturdiness this is a really great sturdy machine I'm going to demonstrate on my onion the variety of settings I have it on the very first setting, and I, this is the setting I really love for onions. It's what I call whisper thin. It's just very, very thin. Now, you can even apply a little bit more pressure. Let me see if you can see this. The more pressure you apply, I don't wanna to get too close to the blades though, it pushes down even a little bit more. And the lighter pressure, you're gonna get very whisper thin, which I love this for sandwiches, like grinders or subs, the very whisper thin onions, it's beautiful. And that's on the zero setting. And as you go up, the highest setting is the nine. And when I cut the onion on the nine setting, it was five eighths inch thick. So you can get some pretty chunky uh, settings on here, So which I really love. Um, but for this, I'm gonna go ahead and show you, we're, we're making pizza today. So I'm gonna just set it on a, let's see, a two. Let's pop in that setting and see what that does. And of course it has the safety feature here where you put your onion in the safety feature. This is one of the reasons why I bought this because I have been um, cut really bad. I don't know if you can see it or not on my finger here. That stitch right, that's right here. And so I've, I get the wiggies on blades and actually it was cut on a can. So uh, the thought of even having this kind of, I call it like a guillotine slice type slicer here. Uh, this type of a slicer really freaks me out. But because it has the safety feature here, and it has these channels that this slides down and in, and um, because of the safety feature, I felt that it was a little bit, uh, you know, pretty safe, um, even though I have a fear of these blades. Um, but every time I use it, I'm always really focused on what I'm doing and paying attention. And also, you wanna make sure that you're not drinking a lot of alcoholic beverage while you're using these as well. Um, if you, sometimes I have a glass of wine while I'm making my dinner. You wanna make sure that you're not doing that when you're slicing with blades like this. So what I do is I go ahead, a little bit of safety there. Uh, so what I do is I go ahead and put my thing in the thing and then I just go ahead and slice through. Now let me um, show you what that slice is. And this is about an eighth of an inch. Let me get my little measuring tool out here and measure. That is an eighth of an inch right there. And actually, I kind of want them a little bit thinner for my pizza. So I am going to pop it down from a two to a one. And go ahead and show you how beautifully it slices those. And like I said, at that zero slice setting, it's very, very thin. And here are my nice, thin, beautiful onions. And this is going to be great on top of that pizza. And if you want to look uh, and check out my pizza, my homemade vegan pizza recipe, um, actually I use a store-bought crust, but um, I have a vegan pizza recipe as well. If you want to look, check out all my cooking videos. And if you like, make sure you subscribe. Um, so anyways, there's the onion. And I'm, now I'm going to show you some other product produce that um, are great for slice. For the tomatoes, I'm putting it on a three setting. These are a little bit soft. I want to use up these tomatoes. So I'm going to put them on my pizza today. And sometimes when they're a little bit soft, they don't work as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and try it. And I have it on, like I said, a three. That's the first slice there. I washed and dried the tomatoes first, so it doesn't add a lot of moisture and ex excessive uh, wetness to my pizza. But you can see how it slices it really nice, despite this being a little soft. And this is on a three setting. This is great for subs this size too. And that's pretty thin. This is a little bit, this is not, 
let's see, one, two, three. This looks like three sixteenths. Right here on a three setting. So it's still pretty thin and flexible. Okay, let me show you how I'm gonna go through it. Now, when I do my tomatoes, if you notice, this is the end piece. I put the part that attaches to the vine into the spikes of the handle. And let me go ahead and bring it right down to you for, for the end so you can see it. And then what happens is the piece that has the, um, the vine end here is my top end that comes out of the, um, the holder. So this is the part that I just discard. Now, if you want, you can slice up this and save this meaty part, which actually I might do because I'm gonna be making some vegetable soup after. Um, but like I said, I put the meat, the part that has the vine in, and then you just simply, I'll push this down so you can see. I'm pushing it into the spikes, and then I continue to slice. And so the very first piece, if you wanna discard the end piece, some people don't like this little end piece here. Um, I'll use that for soup and then just continue slicing. And that is the tomato. And you can see how quick and easy it is. Now I'm a pretty lazy cook, so I don't like to have to clean extra devices like this, uh, but I find that this is very, very easy to clean and it has that safety feature where I'm not gonna touch that blade. And this is the safety feature here. Um, you bring it down to zero, that's zero, and bring it all the way into lock when you're gonna be. I'm gonna show you another feature of the mandolin slicer. It also has these extra blades right here. And these blades dice. And this is the 5 8 setting. And let me see what the smaller setting is. I think this is almost a quarter inch. That's 5 8 setting. Let me tip to the side so you can see these. And this blade, actually, for me to read it, I gotta turn it, is a quarter inch. So you have the two settings, 5 8 inch and quarter inch for dicing. Um, and I'm not gonna use that for my pizza today. Um, but I have a video I think I show you on how to dice. I'm gonna show you how I slice my red peppers. I use, again, the back end in order for the spikes in the holder to hold it. And then I'm gonna slice them very thin today. Um, like I said, I'm using them for pizza. So I have this on a one setting. And you can see just how beautiful this dice is. That's the beauty of this machine, is you can get these whisper thin slices. Now this would be nearly impossible, or at least for me impossible, to cut without a machine like this. And I love them whisper thin, especially on pizzas or subs. Actually, I think I'm gonna take some of this and make a sub with it, a vegetable sub. It's gonna be amazing for lunch because um, the smell of this is so incredible. But this just slices right down. And, oops, well, I pushed a little too hard. I got a little cracking going on. Let's see, wow. Effortless. And actually, if I'm gonna cut with a knife, I think the cutting with the knives are more dangerous, actually. Because if you're cutting real thin with knives, when you're cutting like this, your fingers are real close to those blades. And that, I think, is a little bit more dangerous than this. Like I said, focus on what you're doing. Um, I just keep my hand inside here and I'm good. And then every time I, um, uh, you know, stop and, and, you know, if I'm going to go do something else, I'm just going to put the blade back to to the end. And let me show you on the end piece here. And here's my end right here. And the ends just went right in. Now, of course, I'm always being careful when I'm going to come in now and scoop out this stuff. You can even scoop it out with a, a knife or just poke it out with some other kind of tool if anything gets stuck. And actually, these little pieces I'm going to just dice up a little bit thinner to throw on. Actually, I'll just eat one. Um... But there's the pepper, mm, yummy, that's amazing. Now for the mushrooms, what I did was I rinsed them off. Some people peel their mushrooms, I don't do that. I just rinse them in water quick and then I cut the end off of the stem here. Now, if you want the pretty slices like this, where you get the stem and the slice, you wanna put it in your mandolin like this. 
Um, if you don't care about what it looks like, you can stick it in the other way. But this works just as fine. And you just lightly, don't put, apply a lot of pressure for a mushroom because the mushroom's pretty soft. Lightly do your slicing and voila, you've got perfect, incredibly thin mushrooms. Now, I did not cook these mushrooms first for the pizza. So what I do is I just slice them really thin and this is what's gonna go on top. So it almost gets like broiled on top of the pizza. So the last thing I'll put on is my, is my mushrooms. But of course, you can use these for anything um, as you're slicing them. Nice and thin and amazing. Let me finish slicing that so you can see the rest. I'll show you the slicing. Well, I don't think there's not a, lot of, not a lot to see that way as it's slicing. Now the ends. Here's your end pieces here. Just kind of tip it in. If you need to get it um, out from the slicer like that. And then you can just hand slice a couple of that little pieces there but you've got these beautiful perfect slices that's what I love and there's no way I can I'm not a I'm not a great chef so I can't cut things perfect like that and this is much faster for me than actually hand slicing I can hand slice really fast a lot of things but things like this um, that are small I find that this works really really well so there's my mushroom I'm going to show you a few of the safety features before I put it in my sink and how I clean this is just with some hot soapy water and then any of the grooves my little grooves right here have some tomatoes juice stuck in there you can see so I'm gonna use a, um, a brush to clean up that with but I wanted to show you first some of the safety features here it's got the rubberized feet so, which I like so that it doesn't slide on your counter as you're um, as you're using the slicer so that's really a benefit there and then it's got this plastic blade cover on the back here, which is nice, and it snaps into place here. It snap locks here. And then this just protects your blades from um, any damage or, you know, cut to cutting as well for your uh, hands, so your hands don't get cut. Uh, so I think it's a nifty device, and I think it's um, very useful in the kitchen. I'm not a kitchen gadget person at all. Like I said, I don't like having to go through the trouble of washing stuff. I'm going to finish slicing up some of my things too. I'm going to get some salad ready for work tomorrow with it before I actually wash it. But um, it does uh, save you time. And that's what I like is the time saving. You know, I don't want to spend a half an hour chopping up vegetables especially working all day. So it's worth the, I think it's worth the money. And if you look out, they sometimes have the sales. They put this item on your customer sales. Uh, so if you uh, get friendly with the Tupperware person, let them know you're interested in it. And when it has it on sale, have them send you an email. And uh, the sale price is even better than the full price. So that's a real great deal. So I hope that um, this review helped and... Enjoy your slicer to healthy eating. Be sure you subscribe to the video. Uh, YouTube's having a new policy where we need 1,000 subscribers in order to be monetized. So I would appreciate um, if you give me a little help with the subscriptions. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you.